So about a week and a half ago I planted some tomatoes in the propagator um, and you can see they've grown pretty well in the propagator as, they, as you'd expect because of the increased temperature but what you'll notice is that they're quite what's called leggy and that's where the stems grow really really quickly and very thin and in this video I'll explain to you why that happens and how to deal with it. So if you like the video then give it the thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to the channel then please press the subscribe button. This is my little helper today, it's my grandson Jacob, he's going to be helping me with the, uh, with the video, so uh, everyone say hello to Jacob. Hello, hello Jacob! Say hello, say hello to everybody Hi, Jacob. Jacob. Say hello, say hello everybody. <laughs> he looks really happy to be helping me, so uh, we'll see you in the rest of the video. Well, I thought I was going to have my little helper today, but as we you'd expect with a young child, he's got very bored and he's left me to it. So, back to the video. So why then does this happen? Why do, particularly young seedlings, why do they become leggy? And the reason is, is because they're searching for light. Usually you'll get this type of thing happen to vegetables when you are growing them inside. And even though you might have them on a windowsill or in an indoor space, they're just not getting enough light. What some people will do, they use artificial lighting to try and supplement that or try and put the vegetables as close to the window as, as you can. So what happens is, is when a vegetable starts to grow, they need to feed and the way they do that is through the photosynthesis process whereby natural light will mix with the chlorophyll in, their, in the green part of their leaves and that will form glucose or glucose type of substance which is how the plants feed. And legginess is a plant's reaction to realising it's not getting enough light and therefore it's going to struggle for food and it will start to shoot and try to draw itself near to the light. So that's how that actually happens. So what I'm going to do now is show you what you can do to your plants when this happens to make sure that you can still get successful plants even when they get leggy like this. So this is a really common variety of tomatoes, I'm sure many of you are growing, it's Moneymaker, probably one of the most popular varieties, uh, but as you can see the stems have got very long, the, the leaves are, you know, they're pretty healthy on top, but they need something done to them because we can't let them go carry on like this because they will just continue in the light that I've got to become much more leggy. So the way we'll deal with this, we'll transfer these into individual pots. So the first thing we've got to do is or separate each of the plants and as you can see they look like pretty intertwined here um, although they seem fairly healthy uh, we've got to be careful so we don't really want to touch the stem because the stem is very de delicate as are the roots so I've got a, a very narrow flathead screwdriver which I find works really well you see people using things like chopsticks and other tools to to do this but I, I find this works really well so literally I'll put my screwdriver in and just literally prise prise the uh, soil underneath and just grab the, the loose soil being very gentle to pull them out and here you can see I've got uh, two plants there so the way, the way to separate them out is to hold the leaf and just gently with your hands first just loosen the soil this is a John Innes compost soil which is uh, very um, very grainy and there you can see I'm holding it by the leaf I've got a, a plant which I'm just going to put to to one side and plant it in a minute I've got another one here make sure very crucially you don't handle the stems fully so what I'm going to do now is just separate the rest of them and then plant them so what we're going to do now is we're going to repot those seedlings we've just separated uh, I tend to use pots of about this size uh, which gives the roots or there's plenty of space in that pot for the roots to grow before you have to think about either re repotting into a larger pot or maybe even planting out depending on what vegetable you're growing. I'm still using John Innes compost number one for this but you could use a multi-purpose compost. I like John Innes compost number one uh, for this type of transplanting for these type of seedlings particularly leggy seedlings because it's very very fine um, so that's just my preference. Um, so what I'll do is I'll fill the pot up to about three quarters and then I will bring compost with my fingers which go down to about nearly to the bottom of the pot just to one side so you can see you've got a depression on one side and the compost on the other. Then by the leaves I will get one of my seedlings make sure that you're holding it by the leaves because remember you don't want to touch the stem and then I will put the leggy seedling into the pot so that the leaves 
are just about level with the top of the pot. And then in the gap that I've just created with my fingers, I'll fill that up with the remainder of the multi-purpose uh, compost um, to fill the pot up. And then just gently around the edges and just around the, the plant, but not touching the stem or the leaves, I'll gently compact it. All I'll do then, give that a bit of water um, and that will be the plant transplanted. So here's the tomatoes uh, repotted. In fact, I've got 14 plants out of that, which I'm really pleased about. I'll give them a bit of water. Also, just on the right-hand side, or my right-hand side here, in, the blue, in these little blue uh, pots here, I've also managed to um, transplant three hot peppers. This is a variety called Fuego F1. There are some other ones in the tray, which I'm gonna put back in the propagator. They're not big enough yet, but uh, I thought we'll give these a try and see how they get on as well. So as you can see now, they're not leggy anymore. The plants will grow perfectly fine, so I'll just water them now and then see how they get on. So if you are growing stuff indoors and they're struggling for light and they do become leggy, like I've shown you with my seedlings, there's no need to worry, because as you can see, you can transplant them perfectly well. And the likelihood is most of these 14 tomatoes and three peppers that I've transplanted today will grow to full maturity and I should get a good crop of tomatoes and peppers. So if you're struggling with leggy plants and uh, maybe you might have some techniques that other people might benefit from, then just pop it in the comments below. I'm sure other people like to hear what you've got to say. So if you like the video, then give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for future videos. I'm off now to try and find Jacob, see what he's up to and uh, hopefully have a bit of fun with him. So see you soon, see you all in the next video.